Hey, welcome back to Whitetail Garage. We're gonna work on the Black Widow today. I wanna to get uh, just a few little odds and ends things squared away. I've got some uh, uh, new panels for the door switches, you know, the unlock and lock and the windows. So I've got the new little panel to replace on that. Uh, and then I've got some uh, hood pins to replace, so. These are what I had in there, the classic chrome with the hood pins and they're all rusted out. The pins are also, not only the the screws rusted out, but so are the pins. So this is what I got to replace it. So uh, it's the, uh, let me get this box close. It's the station, station or something like that. But it's these, these uh, push button, these push button uh, hood pins. These are going here and take the place of that top and then it's just a push button to release them. The problem here is, this is a Cervini's hood by the way, uh, but it's it's double layered and I don't think that's enough to get through both layers and put the ring on the bottom side here. Uh, so I've got to check that. As you can see these aren't quite centered on the uh, metal ring underneath there. They end up having to get you know wallowed out but I, I don't know. I, I guess I did that. I don't remember. It's been so long. But um, so I got to get these nice and centered up again and I'm just going to have to use it. I think I've got like a carbide Dremel bit that I'll use to kind of eat this out um, and, and get the opening where I need it and then get these uh, pins installed here. I'll be going, this is where I had my old pins, this is where I'm going to put uh, the new pins in that same exact spot. So let's uh, get the door panels quickly handled, like I said, and then we'll move to this piece. All right, now that that one's fixed, we'll go ahead and move on to the passenger side. It's not as bad as this one. I think it's mostly just faded, but we'll move over there. Yeah, so this one isn't as bad as that first one, but it's all broken all around here. The letters are coming off. It is definitely uh, cracked and the bottom is broken and weak. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one replaced too. There we go. Easy fix. Really makes a huge difference on the interior. I'd love to get the new buttons too. Um, and I believe they're available. I'm not sure. I have to check LMR to see if they're available. But they all work. So it's, it's tough to replace them just because the paint's coming off. I have seen people successfully repaint these. But I can't imagine that actually lasts very long. So, But huge difference. Okay, so I went ahead and took those off of each side. And you can see deep in there how offset... Each one of these holes had to be uh, for that. So what I'm going to do right now, here's my plan. I'm going to get these in, and then here's the gasket, which is the inside diameter of this guy, right? So what I'm going to do is take this guy, and once I get it, once I get where I know is center, which I think is something like that, right? Then I'm going to lay that guy down, trace it, and then cut that out. Okay, so we've got these in. I just picked a spot to put them in. I didn't didn't measure them on anything, but let's see what what these do. See, it looks like they're even still off. This one's closer. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's probably about where I want center to be. Because remember, they're not going to come. They're not going to pop all the way through. They're going to actually be really, really low under the hood because they're going to match up to that depth. 
down into the hood because they just click right into that. All right, so I got this all taped off and ready to cut. There's my hole. That's the hole I'm going to cut. Let me show you how I did that on this side. Now right, you can see I already put the circle there that I want. I'm just using a permanent marker. Really a nice uh, silver felt tip or a white would work better. But I put this on here, decided where I wanted it centered, left to right. Only paying attention to the stud, not, uh, not the other holes. So got that where I wanted it. Then I'm taking this tape and putting it over the center first. Then realigning my reference. So then I get that much on there. Then I can put this guy back on there, complete the circle one more time. And there you go. All right, so I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I've got this little router attachment on my Dremel. And I think I'm going to try that since there are already holes there. There's no way I'm going to be able to get a good uh, round drill bit in there. Uh, and I believe I'll have a lot of control over this versus anything else. A good like carbide bit that you would use to uh, like uh, port an intake at home or whatever, I think would probably be best for this, but I can't find anything like that in my toolbox. I thought I had a little rasp bit set, but I can't find that either. So I feel like I can set my depth here and at least cut the top hole with this. Bottom hole may be trickier, but this is what we're gonna try. All right, we've got that one, that hole dug. So it's a inch and a half bit that I'm gonna use to take out the bottom uh, because I think so. This I believe is about an inch and a half. I again use that uh, Dremel to wallow this out, so it's all cut correctly. You can see I got to get through the bottom, but as you look, I mean the gap isn't that. Feels like it's not as thick as that. So this fits in there nicely. What I'm going to do next, since I've got the ability, since I've got the ability to drop this guy in and keep it fairly guided, I'm going to try and cut the bottom hole without a center guide and get this bottom hole uh, done, undone. All right, here's what I think I'm gonna do. So I've got this where to go all the way down in, right? Now, I had to uh, cut a little bit out of the bottom here because it's gonna be at an angle, you see? So since it's gonna be at that angle, uh, a perfectly straight cylinder down isn't gonna be correct. So I had to uh, cut out the back just a little bit for it to slide right in. Now, you notice over here, I've got more than enough for that nut to grab a hold of and pull that down nice and tight. Where it gets to be a problem is right on this backside from like right here to around to like right here. And so theoretically, if I just cut the hood away right there, I'd grab half of the bottom and be able to suck it down and close in that gap. And I think it would look pretty good um, and not cause my issues. I'm gonna start with that. And then if it just doesn't feel like it's solid enough, then I'll have to get this whole ring into the top layer way up here and suck it up to the base of that and get it underneath uh, the uh, bottom layer. I got real smart. I thought that if I maybe put the, if I could get just the nut inside the hood, uh, then I could close all this off. You wouldn't see any opening here. It would just be the base of that protruding through the hood and give you a nice cleaner look. So I grabbed this string, 
uh, ran it down that hole and all the way down with a washer using a nice uh, uh, magnet. Got it all the way through the other side and then as I pulled back, <laughs> yeah, the string got stuck because the layers are too close together. And now somewhere in there is wedged a, uh, wedged a lock washer because the string broke. So, next plan. Instead of cutting the whole circle out, I cut it just wide enough to fit this guy in. So, as you can see, I could slide this wash up in there very carefully. And I can get that in there. So then, that's the only thing, is those two sides that are going through. And if you look, you need to have access to that anyway to put the locking pin in. So that kind of worked out and it should reduce the amount that it shows on the underside of the hood. So I think that's what I'm going to do for both. Okay, there we go. That's with it installed. I like that look a lot. Again, you just have these two kind of openings to slide the washer through, rather than the whole, the whole big hole be cut in that diameter. So it kind of hides a lot of that. Not nearly as bad. Pretty easy to get to one set screw and drive it in. I think that's all we actually need. And there it is from the outside. Now I'm going to go work on the other side. So there's the hole I cut before install. So again, it's just the it's the exact right diameter for this guy, right? With the exception of I cut these dimples out of either side that are the exact width of the nut so I can get it inside there. And the hole's actually at an angle. See, it's cut at an angle. All right, there we go. That's with the new hood pins in it. All right, well, that's where I'm going to end this one. Got the hood pins in, got those uh, components on the door panel squared away. So uh, leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think these are pretty good, uh, and I think they're going to work perfectly uh, with the way that I've installed them. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.